Hello and welcome to the Online Learning Library provided by Streamline Solutions. In this video segment we will be focusing on creating a new profile within Microsoft Outlook so that we can set up our new Microsoft Exchange email account. This video is intended for users who are already using Microsoft Outlook to manage their emails. If you are not currently using Microsoft Outlook please refer to the previous video in this series video number CRM100A. The goal of this video is to teach you how to set up and use profiles from within Microsoft Outlook so that you can set up and use your new email account. Because you will be setting up an email account using Microsoft Exchange Server, we will want to isolate this account from any other email accounts which might currently be set up within Microsoft Outlook. While it is possible to use Microsoft Outlook to manage both Exchange Server email accounts and other standard email accounts, this is not recommended for a number of reasons as problems are likely to arise. To proceed with the configuration of your new Microsoft Exchange email account, you must have an active Microsoft Exchange Server email account through Streamline Solutions. Once your new account has been set up, you will receive an email from Streamline Solutions that will contain your email address and a temporary password. You should not proceed with this configuration until you have received confirmation that your new Microsoft Exchange email account has been set up. In addition, you will need to have a licensed copy of Microsoft Outlook installed on your computer. If you have not yet installed Microsoft Outlook, or have not yet set up the application for use, please do so now and refer to the previous video in this series, video number CRM100A. In this video, we will be using Microsoft Windows Vista. If you are using a previous version of Windows, such as Microsoft Windows XP, you should have no problem at all following along with this video. In addition, we will be using Microsoft Outlook 2007. Once again, this video assumes that you are already using Microsoft Outlook to manage additional email accounts. To begin, please open your system's control panel. If you are using Microsoft Windows Vista as we are here, you will want to click on the Classic View link in the left-hand navigation bar of the control panel. From the menu options to the right, double click on the mail icon as shown here. This will launch the mail setup wizard, which will guide us through the process of both creating a new profile within Microsoft Outlook and setting up the configuration of our new Microsoft Exchange email account. Now, because we will want to isolate our new email account from any other email accounts we may be using within Microsoft Outlook, we will want to start by creating a new profile. To do this, simply click on the Show Profiles button to open the Profile Setup screen. From here, click on Add and give your new profile a name. This can be anything. In this example, we'll simply go with our profile. And then click on OK. We are now presented with the Account Setup Wizard. Here, we will enter the basic information regarding our new email account. This information should have been emailed to you upon account setup. If you have not yet received this email, please wait until you receive it before proceeding. You might also want to check your spam folder to see if your welcome email was flagged as spam. Assuming that you have received your welcome email, we will go ahead and proceed. To start, simply enter your name, and then enter the email address you are setting up. And finally, enter the temporary password that has been assigned to you. This will be in your welcome email. And then click Next. The Configuration Wizard will now attempt to contact the Microsoft Exchange server to automatically detect the settings for your new email account. This step may take several minutes to complete. Now, once the server settings have been detected, you will be asked to log into the server. To do this, simply re-enter your email address in the username field, as shown here, and type your temporary password in the password field, and then click OK. And in a few moments, you will be receiving a confirmation notice. Here it is right here. Once you have received this confirmation notice, you have successfully set up your new profile and email account. If you need to add additional email accounts using Microsoft Exchange Server, simply repeat the steps in this video for each new email account you will be setting up. For now, we'll click on Finish. And here we are again at the Profile Setup screen where we can clearly see the profile we've just created. 
Now, because we are using multiple profiles now, we will want to change the startup options for Microsoft Outlook to prompt us for the profile we wish to use. To change the setting, simply make sure that the prompt for a profile to be used option is selected, and then click OK. Let's go ahead and start up Microsoft Outlook. And as you can see here, we are now prompted to select the profile we wish to log into. Use the drop down menu to select the profile you wish to use, and then click OK. Microsoft Outlook will now prompt us for our username and password. This will occur each time you open Microsoft Outlook with this profile. Please make sure that your full email address is displayed in the username field, and then enter your password in the password field. And then click on OK. Microsoft Outlook will now start the process of opening and preparing Outlook for first use and retrieving the mailbox settings. Once this is done, you will be able to enjoy the benefits of your new Microsoft Exchange email account. If you receive a dialog, such as this one here, for Microsoft Office Outlook Connector, you can simply click on Cancel. On behalf of all of us here at Streamline Solutions, thanks for your business. Should you encounter any errors or have any additional questions, please contact the Streamline Solutions support team. Support can be obtained online at www.streamsoul.com or by emailing support at streamsoul.com. Thanks for watching.